Episode two. <laughs> um, am I 2000 yet? I'm not. I'm 16. Still in the 1600s. <laughs> I played two games off camera. Uh, one game I had the black pieces and one game I had the white pieces against a 1710, the highest rated opponent that I have ever played, actually, on chess.com. Um, and I'm going to go through them really fast. Uh, the game with the black pieces. Let's see. I had kind of a King's Indian style uh, setup. And I began to attack on the king side. There were some inaccuracies, some misses, some blunders. In this position, the queen is overloaded to the bishop and the knight. Um, so it looks like the bishop is defended and I can't take it with my rook. But actually, I can take the knight. Queen has to take and the bishop is hanging. That was a nice little tactic. Um, instead, I took the free pawn attacking the rook. And he says, he says, take my rook. Take my rook. I'm looking for your queen. He forks my queen and my rook. And in this position, instead of saving my queen, it wants me to take the knight. Queen has to take. And take the bishop with my rook. A brilliant move uh, from chess.com. Uh, and his best move is to take my queen. I take the bishop. He protects his knight. And in this position, I have... I simply like just too much material. I have two rooks for the queen. I have a knight and a bishop for his rook, and we both have knights. I have a pass pawn on the h file, and it's simply it's just simply winning. Um, instead of that happening, I slide my queen up a square, and we trade off some pieces. I throw my king onto the h file. I hang a knight. <laughs> I double up my rooks and begin to attack, um, and. The opponent misses maiden one. So we take those. We take those. Um, the second game with the white pieces against a 1700. I take a big center and he plays a king's Indian as well. Um, and I trade off his defending bishop and I begin to attack on the on the king side. I'm throwing my pawns into his position. A lot of my pieces are lined up um, and I thought I was doing pretty good in this position. But my attack simply did not come to fruition. I found myself like reacting to a lot of his moves and preparing for my attack that never came. And things happened on the queen side and I took what I thought was a free pawn, um, missing this queen check where he forks my bishop and my king. Uh, I defend with the knight. And we shuffle around pieces. He gives me some checks. He infiltrates into my position. And I have to hide my king in this mess over here. Um, and I'm trying to attack as best as I can. I'm down a, a, a knight in this position and some pawns. And it's simply losing. So I'm trying to make it a little bit messy. Trying to throw my pieces into his, into his king area. Um, but he finds the check. He finds the check. And he's threatening checkmate in one. I have to play this move. Uh, queen c4, trading off queens. And I try to use my pass pawn as best as I can to, to make it a little complicated, make him fight for the win. Um, but I get down to 0.5 seconds on the clock. And his defense is too strong, and I lose this game. Um, it says I played like a 1650, an opponent played like a 1850. Um, so... Pretty good. Not bad. Um, those two games actually brought me up in rating points. Um, so we are starting this episode higher rated than we ended last episode, which is cool. And we're going to jump into a 10 minute game. And see what happens. Uh, Tunisia. I think this is my first opponent from Tunisia. We have the white pieces. I'm going to play e4. All right. Let's play chess. Let's play chess. I'm going to play knight f3. Let's do a Rui Lopez. Bring the bishop out early. Opponent is a 1624. We just bring the bishop back. Expecting this move. But he plays this move instead. Okay. Um, I mean, generally speaking, in the Rui Lopez, you want to play for c3 and, and d4. But I think nowadays, a lot of people are just playing d3. So that's what I'm going to do. Just defend my pawn from his knight. Hmm. And I'm going to castle as soon as I can. 
I think in that game against the 1700, I lost because I didn't castle. <laughs> so let's bring our bishop back. <clears throat> Playing LMSBB. All right, he's defending his center. He's going to castle pretty soon, probably. So where do my pieces want to go? Mm. Let's start off with rookie one. I know my I know my rook wants to go here. And he wants to trade bishops. Hmm. Now if I take, he has to take back with a pawn. And what if I attack it immediately? He would have to defend with the queen, probably. And then I bring my queen. Threatening this. And that would disallow him from castling. It's kind of interesting. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're attacking the pawn. I'm expecting this move. Perhaps. Oh, wow. And he defends this way. This seems wrong to me right off the bat. Um, can I not just kick that knight and then take the pawn? Let's see. I play c3. He doesn't have this square. He doesn't have this square. Doesn't have this square. Doesn't have this square. Doesn't have this square. I think he has to go right back. Yeah. I think he has to go right back. Goodbye. Bye bye. This is a very good position. He is realizing <laughs> what he has done. What have you done? I don't see any tricks. Yeah. He's going to go back. And I'm going to take. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well. I mean, I think this is still good for us. This is kind of clever, attacking my knight. Um, so if I take, he's going to take. And then I take again. And then he's going to take. And then he has two sets of doubled pawns. His king is not castled. If he castles this way... There's a bunch of holes in his position. I think we're doing pretty good here. Now, do I have anything better? And after this whole sequence, this pawn is hanging as well. Right, so... What to do? I think we just take the pawn. I think we just take the pawn. So we're up a pawn. He has he has uh, three pawn islands. A set of doubled pawns. Hmm. You know, I think... Because of the pawn structure... The way I have... I have two pawn islands all connected... And he has three with the double pawns and this isolated pawn all by itself. I think I just want to trade pieces. As many pieces as I can. Because if it ends up in an end game, due to the pawn structure, I think I'm I think I'm just winning. So let's see what he does. I mean surely he's gonna take back with the queen. And what do we play? A move like queen g4, maybe? <clears throat> I still need to develop. But he would have this move. Maybe I develop this way. Hmm. And if I do this move, his knight is going to come with a little tempo. If I go here and he goes here, I go back, put my knight in front of my king. I kind of like that. And that's 
that's one, two, three moves, and this is one, two, three moves. And it doesn't come with tempo. Maybe I'll do it this way. Let's say I go here. Wing comes out attacking my pawn. I just defend it. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to make this knight maneuver. Just to be extra safe. <laughs> I want as many pieces around my king as possible. Hmm. And let's make sure we don't lose on time. I am down a little bit, and he is threatening checkmate. Well, not quite. Check here, check here. Um, I would definitely want to defend that, though. What's the best way to defend that? Probably this. I bring the knight out. And it's guarding the h2 square and it's attacking his queen so that feels pretty good and my queen maybe wants to come out to b3 now because i don't think it's getting out on this diagonal knight's blocking it in okay he slides back still maintaining this maybe looking to do this let's play let's play queen b3 Attack his pawn. Now he can still castle. He can still castle long. Hmm. <laughs> kind of does the same thing I just did to him. Um. Let's see. He's attacking my queen and attacking my d3 pawn. This move looks pretty good. Just counterattacking the knight. We're still defending the pawn, and we're x-raying this pawn. Now if I go here and he goes here, I take, take. This pawn is hanging. I think it's okay. Let's try it. Hmm. He plays queen back. Um, which is very interesting. He left his knight hanging. So if I take the knight, what is he, what is he saying? He played that move almost instantly, so I don't think he thought much about that. And if I play this move first, you can guard the queen. I would have forks. Let's just take the free knight. Let's take the free knight. Hmm. Well. This pawn is is hit. This move looks pretty good to me. Now if I take, and he goes back here, pinning my knight to the queen. I can't guard with the knight again. So take here. I would have to guard like this. Mm. And I don't like that my knight is pinned to my queen. I have this move, I guess. So here, here here mm. I can take this immediately maybe I just defend this let's play a little bit quicker I am in a, a completely winning position so I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to lose on the clock hmm not too sure what that does Let's play this move. Um. <laughs> uh, if my eyes do not deceive me, 
I believe that is checkmate in one. Nice. Uh, zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero misses. We love to see it. Let's do a game review. Oh, wow. Um, okay, I'll switch the scene. Oh, OBS software update. Uh, it says I played with 93.7% accuracy. It's very high. And opponent played with 70.8. It says I had one miss. So let's see. Um, it says I played like a 2250. And opponent played like a 1700. That feels good. That feels very good. Um, let's go through the review. Yep, all of this was pretty book. This was a miss. Um, so in this position, did it want me to take? And then when he takes back, right, I do have this move. I was uh, I was trying to keep an eye out for this uh, this tactic. A lot of 1600s are fall for this tactic, where they hang the center pawn, um, and it does not work. When in this position, exactly what the computer is saying, uh, this move is a mistake because you want to play you want to play this move. Um, so now, if I try to do the same sequence, the queen can come to d4, attacking the knight and threatening checkmate. Um, and best move is to lose the knight. Um, so I should have seen that. But everything else was pretty standard, trading the bishop off. It liked this plan decently enough. It wants the c3, d4, which is pretty standard. Yeah, this was this was a mistake. We just kicked the knight out. And he did find the counterattack. But take, take, take. Yep, and a pawn was hanging at the end. He has double pawns. You can see the evaluation bar. Uh material is is pretty even like i'm up a pawn um which is not a big deal in in our rating range um but it's giving me a pretty sizable advantage i guess it's giving me a pawn advantage one point <laughs> knight comes out yeah again i guess not too much to analyze when you when you play like a 2250 and then checkmate in one uh all right well um Opponent was playing really fast in that game, it felt like. Not really thinking about the positions um, in some critical moments. Uh, but a win is a win. We take those. Uh, always feels good when chess.com tells you you played like a 2250. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, is it going to do the thumbs up thing? Yeah, it does. Cool. We figured it out. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.